Good morning. I'm out with those Overland Adventures. And the band's back together. I'm so excited. This, this this group of friends has not has not been fully back together since this time last year. Um, as you can see, there's snow on the ground. Uh, we are in massive underquilted hammocks, diesel heated rooftop tents because it is currently uh, mid-teens right now. As I'm I'm, I'm freezing. Um, the trails are going to be very interesting. We have, we've never, we don't, we don't get this in the Ozarks very often. Um, so this is, this will be a brand new thing for us. Um, we don't get to, to wheel in environments like this. And this snow is a, almost a week old now and very slick. It's going to be very slick out on the trails. But uh, this is our annual event that uh, that we call the cold water run um, because usually there's quite a bit of water and it's stupid cold and uh, this this is the the snowiest and coldest cold water run we have ever had so thanks for thanks for joining along with us i'm excited to to go get into some crazy stuff with these guys Six inches thick. Yeah, it did not sound good going over it. It's a cool picture coming around the corner and seeing everybody lined up and snow flying behind. Alright, we are on the move. And heading to a trail that we've we've done several times, but it's it's been probably two years since we as a group and myself have been on it. Uh, called Frog Bayou. Um, it's it's quite fun. Not not like super technical, but it's got some really fun spots. Beautiful waterfall on the trails, pretty water crossings. But we've never done it in snow like this, and this is actually turning into a little bit more ice. Uh, I think today's going to be very interesting. If we're on anything off camber in this stuff, it's uh, it's, it's going to be interesting. So, but that's the adventure. It beats staying home. It very much beats staying home. So we'll we'll see what happens. But I'm just excited to have everybody back together, and it's going to be it's, it's going to be awesome. Well, this didn't take long to hit our first tree that's laying on a power line. Well, we knew this was going to be a real possibility this weekend. And it didn't take us very long to, to find our first one. That shouldn't be too hard, though. I, I don't like that it's laying across the power line. James has got this new 12 inch chainsaw he's been dying to use. It's so cute. I think the tree's bigger than your chainsaw. It is. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Don't see. 
see any previous tire tracks on this trail. I'm surprised no one ran this. The sounds of wheeling in the winter time are so different. The crunch of the snow under the tires, the echo of the water underneath a sheet of ice, the trickle of water dripping down, icicles. Um, it's, it's just a whole new world. It's very cool and very different. It's currently 12 degrees outside, um, but I'm keeping my window down because I like hearing the sounds. I do have my, my steering wheel heater and the, the heat on high to, to offset it, but it's real nice. was some seriously thick ice. I was not, I mean, I expected it, I, but it's just, it's just cool and fun. Let's see. Oh, there's some more. Oh. <laughs> God, that's just so harsh. Alright, well this is the one of the more technical sections of the trail. The rock at the top seems to keep getting bigger each year. And I don't have lockers. This is, this is Caleb's new Jeep. Um, he's had it maybe just a couple months. And so this is his second outing with it, I think. So he's, he's, he's gonna get a good educational experience. Caleb turned hard passenger and back down. There you go, hard passenger. All right, now go. There you go, good job. Son like father. Go, 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 go. There we go. You're going way high. Piece of cake.
Yeah, you're gonna drop down out here though. Yep, back end's gonna drop. Drop. Crutch. Not bad. Yeah. Woo, good job. Is he turning hard or coming straight? Oh, he's turning. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Slow. Oh, yeah. No, no, keep, keep coming past me. Ah, boom. Oh, fender. I bet, I bet he's got extra clips. Coming down on the rear. Very nice. What do you think, Dad? Which way should he go? <laughs> Watch that tree. Oh, oh, oh. Boom! Well, the record, I uh, definitely have made a mistake taking my, my jacket off. I was getting hot going up and down the hills, but now I'm freezing again. It is so awesome having a group of friends like this that you can give each other crap and just laugh and cut up and nobody gets, you know, feelings hurt because we all know each other so well. We all know it's in fun. And I, I, I am so, so lucky to have these guys. What we got here? Oh. oh, oh goodness, this is the big whole place. Okay. Hmm. All right, now we have a decision to make on which uh, which iced over mud hole to pick. Come on, let's see how far you get before you bust through. No, come on. Nathan's going to practice his walking on water skills. Oh. 
Oh, I heard the cracking. I tried, I couldn't get anybody to go through the middle. I gotta wait for the river of mud to come back there. I know. We needed Ben. Ben would have gone through the middle. Ben probably would have gone through the middle. He would have gone through the middle. Yeah. Caleb, we need you to take Ben's place. Sorry. Come on. We need a crazy 18 year old to go do all the hard stuff. We do. We need to send it, Caleb. <laughs> all this steering is full of ice. The big one fell out, the little ones didn't. There you go. I don't know why, probably the kid in me, I, there's just something about crunching through the ice like that that just brings me great joy and makes me giddy inside. It's fun. This is, this is such a fun day. I'm loving it. Woo! I feel cold. I feel cold.
do it. Come on. Come on, keep going, keep going. There you go. Yeah. Good job. I think that was the last obstacle on the trail. Next stop is Frog Bayou Falls, where we will eat lunch. I'm starving. It is, it is one o'clock. And I did not eat breakfast. I am hungry for a sandwich. what this is here but that's that's uh that's interesting apparently someone got lonely in the woods she's a little prickly look at that how cool is that? I've never seen Frog Bayou Falls like this before. That is so cool. It's been such a good day. I, I'm already excited about the next trail and then getting to camp. But that that's all. That was just incredible. So glad we stopped there. Uh, can't wait to see where we camp tomorrow night. That should be pretty awesome too, but that's gonna be in the next video. So if, if you're this far into the video, please do me a favor, check and see if you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, I know, gosh, like 70% of the people who watch the channel aren't subscribed, which, which is normal, but you know, we'd like to improve that a little bit so check and see if you're subscribed and if you're not please please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss uh the next video and then from from here um karen and i are headed to arizona and southern california to hang out with brad and regina i think hopefully regina's gonna be able to join us and spend some time down in that area and brand new places that we've never been so um, should should be awesome. Look, really looking forward to that trip. Uh, but from here, I, th I think this is pretty much just a dirt road um, until we hit the the big water crossing, and then the next trail is what we call the sketchy trail. It is. It's got the beginning of it is perhaps one of the sketchiest things in all of the Ozarks. So that's. That's always fun. And if it's like snowy and icy, it'll be even more better. So we're gonna go see. This is making me so sleepy. Facts. I was just thinking the same thing. This is not the place where you want to fall asleep, for sure. No, consequences would be real high. Alright, here we go. We're taking a right on the little... Looks like it's not really a trail, but it is.
Well, it doesn't take long down this trail to reach the, the, the sketchy part. I've got this loose, fairly steep descent here. And then we hit some rocks with just, just a sheer drop off. That's maybe covered in snow. Sounds fine. My heart's beating a little fast. Oh, dang. Cool. Well, there's the, there's the drop off. It, it's been a while since you've been here. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> Looks a little more washed out than last oh, time. Yeah. Man, that is just straight down. <laughs> it's pretty steep. Wow. But it's not covered in snow. No. So that's good. Yeah, well that's... What do you think, John? It's like old times. <laughs> <laughs> think it's a little more washed out than last time. It looks like it's a little deeper there, maybe. Yeah. Seeing that, will Caleb decide to do it or is he gonna turn around and he and his dad meet us in camp? That is the question. Oh, my swim bar wasn't even disconnected. Oh. Camera angles never do it justice. This is 40 degrees down. I don't know if I've ever been 40 degrees. 40 degrees down and 12 degrees temperature. Yeah. Well done. Whoa. Oh, stretch. Dang. That was a hard drop. Going down. You're done. You're in it now. Oh, sliding. Passenger, passenger, there you go. All right. Moving. All right, you got it. Perfect. Man, that look easy. That's because it's John, man. And his spotter. All right, Caleb. I got you, buddy. I got you. I'm going to do you just like it did John. All right, I'll give you about 20 minutes. I'll be back. Caleb is probably being smart, and he's gonna he's gonna go around and go to camp, and James is gonna escort him to camp because this trail dumps out where we're gonna camp, so that's the plan. I need something to show my insurance agent what happened. It's total trust right here. I can't see a thing. See what his back end does if he lifts the tire anywhere. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that was a big kind of lift. 
Watch out, John. I don't want to throw you over. That was sketchy. Oh, that looked rough. Easy. Made it, Robert. <laughs> All right, and then there were five. Oh, now, now let's. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Too bad. Where'd they go? They went around. They went home. Hey, they did the wise thing. They, they probably not. did. I told Caleb, I'm proud of you. You can't be peer pressured. I'm disappointed, yeah. but I'm proud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there's not a whole lot super technical on this thing. Got a couple of cool water crossings. <laughs> Hopefully, no trees down. So, not over yet. Whew, that was intense. Seeing seeing Robert from the from the back end, that was sketch. Who's calling me? Oh, Spain. My fridge all the way to the front. <laughs> I've had all I my, just realized all my stuff. Four high that whole time. What? That might explain some of your uh, lack of control going down. Definitely would. Wow, I can't believe doing that four high. Good grief. Whew. All right, I know we've got uh, some uh, two, I think two nice, really pretty water crossings. Um, I don't think there's anything super technical. I don't remember any mud holes down here, but it's been it's been a few years, like right after I got my gladiator, that I've done this. So let's go find out, and then we'll get to camp. And Nathan's got chili for us for dinner. It's gonna be a good night. And this trail does not get used very often. So it is definitely overgrown.
Really, the only thing this trail is missing is mud holes. It's got a little bit of everything else. It's got some of the most beautiful water crossings in the Ozarks, I think. It's definitely got some little rock gardens. I see, I think, Caleb's Jeep. Welcome to the land of the living. We made it. It limped here. Caleb, is it your Jeep that's having the issues? Yep, I hit a stump. Oh, you hit a stump. See, I told you you should have gone down the sketchy trail. And then you wouldn't be in this position. Yeah, what if it's hit three other stumps? Well, we made it to camp and we've, we've never stayed at this campsite before. It's a great spot. It's got the, it's got great space for, I mean, all the rigs. Flat enough for ground tents, there's plenty of trees for hammocks. I mean, it checks off all the boxes and it's next to the stream. So, get to listen to that tonight as we're going to sleep. It's gonna be awesome. Paul is setting up what he calls his hot house. It's basically a tent that he can use his diesel heater with, but he's still got his hammock inside. So he's still sleeping in his hammock, but in a hot house. And John has his big old six inch memory foam mattress in the back of his Jeep, that's where he sleeps. And Robert's over here setting up his hammock. He don't need no hot house. He makes his own hot house. And then Nathan's over here setting up his hammock. Nathan was kind enough to cook us uh, white chicken chili and uh, regular, regular chili. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. I'm pumped because it's cold. All right, we got not only one bowl of chili with uh, white cheddar Cheez-Its in it. Let's see. Mmm, that's so good. Well, I gotta try the white chicken chili too. Mm. So good. I don't know which one I like better. They're both so good. But they're warm in the inside, and that's what matters because it's like. In the teens right now, low tonight is in single digits. So it's gonna be real cold. So this is perfect. Warming me from the inside out. Well, it is time for bed. I don't know what the exact temperature is outside, but I'm so glad I have my diesel heater. It is warm and cozy in here.
Good morning. Um, it is currently nine degrees, and last night was interesting. My before before 10 p.m. My anti-gravity um, auxiliary batteries just just quit working, and meaning my diesel heater stopped. Um, everything you know running off of my aux batteries stopped. Luckily, um, actually, hold on. This little guy right here. This this is not sponsored content, by the way. Um, this little Blue Eddy uh, AC2A 200 watt power station ran my diesel heater till 5 a.m. So I was I was in pretty good shape then. And then I had an extra zero degree top quilt on from from seven and it's now uh, from from five it's now 7:30. Yeah, it's now 7:30. So that was that was interesting. My my my, my anti gravity batteries were at 90 percent. So it's it's cold, but they should be able to last as far as using them, not charging them, but using them into to this cold. It was like 20 degrees when we went to bed last night. So, anyway, um, very, very cold day today. Um, we're actually going to start the day with a brand new trail. It's a seasonal trail, which is why I've never run it. It's a seasonal trail uh, that's currently open. And so I think we're going to go run that and then go run some other fun trails and end up camping at my favorite camping spot in the Ozarks. It's actually, um, if you've seen the, the, top, the topo map on my hood, you know, from like the dash cam shots and stuff um, that camping spot is on that map because it's my favorite spot in the Ozark so that's where we're going to end up tonight and then tomorrow run some more uh, fun trails and of course gotta end the day with lunch at a art cafe so that that's the plan thanks for uh, hanging out with us and uh, we're gonna go have some fun all right we are on the move and Real cold last night, we'll see what happens today. Should be fun. This is the trail I've never been on before. No one has. So we will see in just a little bit if this was perhaps not the brightest decision I've ever made, running a trail I've never done in these conditions. Uh, but so far the trail looks pretty good. It's not just completely covered in snow and ice. It's pretty. But let's uh, let's see what we find.
Well, I don't want to jinx this, but so far so good. Uh, it's, it's, it's fun, for sure. Uh, but I, I am curious. There's, there's not a lot of people that choose to get out in weather like this, especially camping. So what's your, what's your limit on camping temperatures? I did not see this one. It just gave out from under me in the gladiator so and it's deep there's no way around it <laughs> oh no oh no try to back up again you're not coming forward Paul, we need your winch. I think we need to winch him backwards. Yep, that bumper is totally dug in. He is not gonna winch forward. So we'll winch him backwards, then come more pass, come more driver, and he can he can get out. Oh man. Come on. He's, he's moving. Keep pulling, he's moving. There we go. Look at those slicky BFGs. Straighten up, Nathan, straighten up. There we go. Swing wide, driver. There you go. That'll work. There it goes. Well, that was fun. It's like little landmines all over the place. Some of them you can tell by the surface. Okay, I think that's that's ice of a mud hole. But that one, I I, I saw the the passenger side, but I thought the driver side was clear. I was wrong. While I'm thinking about it, because I'm wearing wearing the hoodie underneath this, um, the More Expo is coming up very soon in April. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Got a coupon code that can save you 10% off. Man, if you've never been to the More Expo in Springfield, Missouri, it's the Midwest Overland Off-Road Expo. It is a great time. Tons of great vendors. Uh, this will be its one, two, three, four, fourth or fifth year and it grows so much every single year. This year is going to be massive. So, uh, we just wanna put the plug out there. If, if, uh, if you've never been to the More Expo, if you're, still, if you're planning on going to the More Expo and want, want a discount, save 10% off your tickets, link in the description. Uh, I'll be there, our rigs will be there, and we'll be set up having a great time um, hanging out. And uh, so if you're there, come say hi but it's, it's gonna be a blast. Hope to, uh, hope to see you there. And this section up in here is beautiful. Look at all this. Oh, 
Oh, you got it. Well done. Pivot. Pivot. I'm a little nervous about this one. It's way off camber. that one whoa Hitting. I'm way on the awning. Alright, made it. Awning still together. No, he's just made it. Back up and give it a bump. Go, 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 go. There you go. Almost at it. James is struggling because the winch line is frozen. You need a crowbar? Yeah. He's still working on it. He got the, the flat link free but now he can't get the winch line to break free we could not get his winch line free so we're just pivoting the back around i'm gonna give him one more shot of coming up this come on caleb come on caleb come on caleb come on yes that's all we needed good job keep coming keep coming keep coming you're clear i think you're gonna clear it Yes, sir. Got it. All right. Now you got to get up this hill. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah! Not enough going. Go. Okay, come on. Keep going. Don't let off. Don't. Oh, dang. Uh, Whee! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to see how well the go treads work here. All right, go, 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 go. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right, they are going to keep trying the traction boards. I just gave them my little blue ones. I don't know. They've never been used for recovery purposes. But I'm also going to boil some water to pour on as a winch uh, with the jet boil here and see if see if that will help. Hopefully this won't take long if I have water that's not frozen. Nope. They're cheering. Okay, traction boards did not work. Boiling water poured on the winch line did work. So yay for that. Yeah, he's polishing the hill. All right, stop. Yeah, I'm going to pull it. Yep, I got this. I got this. We don't need John here. You got it. Come on, keep going. 
You got it. Yes. All right, good. Stop. Video added. Woo! <laughs> Caleb, it's just that since I'm a corner driver, I have more, more experience uh, uh, being slick. <laughs> <laughs> Jet Boil saves the day. This, this is right the there. new Jet Boil recovery tool. How to free your winch line. Let's right, see if right. Nathan does have lockers front and rear, so hopefully he can crawl right up this. All right, but you got to back up back and reset. Up. Back up. Come on. Come on, 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 come on,
have not been slipping and sliding at all. Caleb has the original MTs, and I don't think they have as much siping on them, which I think is helping me in this stuff. I do have a longer wheelbase too. for the gate being open on this side. We have made it back to the main road. Now, because of a landslide from two, three years ago uh, behind us. Watch that gate pole sticking out on the driver's side. Um, we have to go the long way around to get to where we can connect to the other trailhead. So we're just gonna drive on this for a minute. We'll be back. All right, got good news and bad news. Um, we stopped just down the road for, for gas um, and bathroom breaks and stuff. Uh, I had cell signal, so I called my contact at uh, Anti-Gravity Batteries and have, uh, I, I think I have my batteries working again. It's not near as cold now, um, so I'll, I'll actually call them on Monday. But uh, Nick is having issues with his Forerunner, uh, with lights all over the dash, doing doing the dash light thing. So they're they, someone had a code rigger, so they're they're checking it out. So we'll, we'll see what happens with with Nick's Forerunner. The plan now is to divide and conquer. Uh, Robert and Paul are going to go with Nick to an O'Reilly's that's only 20 minutes away so that he can use their code reader and hopefully just clear the codes and be fine. Uh, but if not, Nick will go home because he didn't want to be on these trails in these conditions without all of his off-road goodies. And then Robert and Paul know how to get to camp anyway and they'll have each other. So, and then the other four of us, we're heading to uh, the next trail, which will lead us to camp. It's always an adventure. There you go. Well done. funny how your perspective changes over the years as you wheel more trails, get more comfortable at different, you know, pitches and rolls and stuff. 
I will never forget the first time I came down this trail and that was intense. Like I thought I had just done something incredible and conquered it and it was amazing. And now it's just a normal, it's just a normal day in the, normal day on the trail. I don't know why. I've done this trail a dozen times and it just looks like a totally different trail. Facts. Yeah, there were parts of the trail back there. I was like, I know this part of the trail should be here, but I don't see it. And we were going right over it. I just couldn't really tell because the snow was covering it up. Okay, this looks radically different in the snow because this is the kind of a choose your own adventure mud hole. Wow, people have gone way over there. Stupid. And some of the mud holes are covered up. Don't know which way to go. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Look how thick that ice is. That is crazy. Oh, same thing. Same thing. Yeah, the mud's not deep there. Uh-oh, one more time. I think you're getting stung up on your diff. There you go, well done. All right, let's talk to him in the, whoa. <laughs> He's just hung up on ice. I mean, it's just a massive pile of ice there. Oh, I think he's going around. Okay. He gave it a shot. He did. Whoa. Oh. All right, good job. <coughs> All right, James is going to show Caleb what she can do with 37s versus 35s. At least that's his plan. Oh. <laughs> or not. Oh, he's locking him up. He's got to press some buttons. There we go. Look at all the sheets of ice. You like the Titanic, man. You have to bust it. There you go. You got it. Come on. Come on. All right, winch. Hey, your tire popped. Oh, no. Pop the tire. Hey, your tire. I hear it. Well, get out. What do you want to do, winch? What'd you bump it on? Oh, I think you uh, got your valve stem. Yep. That is flat. Robert and Paul got here just in time for us to be finished. 
uh, Nick could not get the codes read and decided to play it safe and head home. Piece of cake. all the blocks all right let's go all right we are back on the move that took uh well, well that took a while but we got it done still should be to camp before dark so yay for that wow look at the icicles down there it come back this way come back this way come on keep coming there you go don't hit my camera you got it you got it you got it keep coming you got it don't stop don't stop you got it good job there you go I don't like this obstacle because of that. It's not fun. Almost to the waterfall. We're up a little bit tall so you can have some momentum. Wah! We managed to make it to camp before dark, barely, and the waterfall is flowing beautifully. It's uh, I, I've been here in the winter time when there's been icicles, but I've never been here when there's snow, and this spot must not get uh, any sunshine because the snow is still real deep here. I mean, it's good. A good three, four inches still on the ground here. Um, but gosh, it is absolutely breathtaking down here. I love it. Let's, uh, let's go check out the waterfall and then we'll get camp set up. Looks like a perfect spot. Yep. All right, we've got the fire going. 
and we're gonna have a good night we got a crap ton of wood left over so we're gonna burn it all and just have a big warm fire tonight we've got a special treat tonight paul is cooking up fajitas for us let's see should be pretty good looks good and then james james is, is, james is <laughs> was working on appetizers james but he's, got still, sidetracked. he's still getting set up <laughs> I was coming to see the pinwheels, man. Ooh. There's those that. look good. What do we got there? Jalapeno, four yeah, cheese, sausage, sausage, beef, and bacon course. pinwheels. Yummy. Alright, here's what happens to your olive oil when, when it's below freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes are ready. Whoa, you're not gonna be able to close that. Oh, you gotta close it? <laughs> Have you never eaten a fajita? No, I just put the stuff in. Oh eat my it gosh, with the pork. some for everybody else. <laughs> it has been an incredible day, and I'm already excited about tomorrow. Because we go, we go back the way we came just a little bit, and then we take off north on a, a really fun technical trail. I don't think it'll give us any problems. Uh, knock on whatever this is. But uh, it, it's a fun trail. So looking forward to that. And of course, ending, ending the morning at Oark Cafe for lunch. Tradition. we got to do it when we're in this area. Um, but uh, we're just going to chill around the campfire for a little bit longer. And then... It's almost time to go to bed, so see you in the morning. Good morning. How are you? Making coffee? What an amazing night's sleep. If you have never slept next to that sound before, you are missing out. It's absolutely the best. And this, this is my favorite campsite in all the Ozarks for a reason. And this is why this, this topical map right here, that's in this area. And this campsite is right there. And that, that, that's why that is there. Look at this. I mean, this is absolutely unreal and beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sadly, we can't stay here all day. Um, we do have to pack up camp and head out of here. The plan is to be in Oark for lunch. Um, and we have a, a really fun trail to get out of here. So um, we'll, we'll start tearing down camp and head out in just a little while. As I'm packing up, I um, wanted to show you this. Uh, this is the hero of the weekend. Um, this is a diesel heater, but it is not a cheap Chinese diesel heater. This is a planar heater. Um, they're made in Canada. They do not use cheap Chinese um, knockoff combustion chambers. Um, th this is high quality stuff. This is the type of diesel heater that you can depend on. If you have issues with it, you can get support for it. And everything, I mean, it's in a, a very nice Pelican style case. It's in a planar case, um, but everything stows in here. 
And so that's all you have to worry about. Um, let me, let, I can't close this up one handed. So hold on. Here's the back side of it. I mean, everything is very well made on this thing. Um, it's very high quality. My buddy Chad over at Overland Addict, he's the one that sent this to me because uh, he saw that I've been doing some reviews on the, the, the cheap Chinese diesel heaters and he said, hey, I want you to check out this. Uh, this is not this is not cheap, um, but this is high quality, which the, the Chinese diesel heaters are not so much. Um, I, I'll be doing a full review on this uh, very very soon. But if if you if you're interested in a high quality heater, uh, check out Overland Addict. Uh, these, these are great. This is incredible down through here. Of course, we got here you know, in the evening as the sun was setting. But now, seeing it with the sun rising, just glistening off all the snow, the icicles sparkling. God, it's incredible. I love, love, love the Ozarks. And this is the second time since I've been, since I've owned a Jeep, that I've got to experience snow like this in the Ozarks. There's one other time, a long time ago, that I got to experience something similar to this, but not not, not this good, because I, I didn't camp them. We were just uh, day tripping. Wow. Let's see what this icy climb out of here looks like. This is a whole lot of ice. Alright, this obstacle has gotten a lot different. This is where I busted my side passenger door window on my JK. Um, this is a lot more washed out here to the passenger side. And I used to be a lot more terrified of um, being off camera. And I'm not so much anymore. Ugh. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. ah, didn't feel like anything there.
Hard driver. There you go. James is going to do the best he can to protect his tent because I, uh, I did hit my tent pretty good on that tree sticking out right there. Uh, my tent's fine, but James's tent is a little taller than mine is on my gladiator, so he's playing it safe. I don't blame him, but Robert never plays it safe. Too much on the wall. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. You're actually your headlight is hitting. Just back up. Now turn more driver and you got more it. More driver. Yep. Okay, yeah, you're gonna have to follow in the rut to it's fine now. Yeah, I was watching the top and not the bottom. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, the roots creep right across this and grab that. Well, that was that was fun. Uh, feel bad for Robert's front quarter panel. But uh, He's got a lot more dents than that on his. It'd be like me, dent in mine. I think he and I could probably have a contest to see who has the most dents on their rigs. I, I think he might actually win, but he's had that forerunner a lot longer than I've had the gladiator, so there's that. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't plan on doing that obstacle, but uh, it's gotten better. And my tent is okay. That uh, bam sound was my tent, though, but it's not. It's not busted in any way. So, yeah, yeah, I came for BDV. It uh, took a good hit and still together. Well, this looks interesting. Good job, Caleb! Awesome. Wow. Okay. Whoa! You trying to climb the hill? Go. You got it. There he goes.
Are we making it look easy? Yeah, been there, done that before. <laughs> a few times. Yeah. Well, that was the last of any major obstacles. Except for one mud hole section that we will avoid because they're so dug out that they're not even worth trying because you just sink in them. But man, what a what a fun hill climb. Well, I didn't get it on camera because I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal. But that hole sunk. Apparently I was actually on two wheels and almost rolled. I felt it. Um, took me multiple tries to bust through that ice. But I made it. Oh! <laughs> Did you do that to him? All right, there you go. Back up and bump it. That's what I had to do. There you go. Bingo. All right, everybody else went around. to work I hate that I didn't get that mud hole on camera because that was that was super sketch like that's the first that's the closest I've ever come to feeling like I was gonna roll but not on camera so but that was I was thought I was in trouble all right well this is where we say goodbye to Robert be safe Robert yeah do it And Caleb and James are leaving us too. Bye, be safe. We've got a long drive home. Bye, James. <laughs> now it is time to go get some burgers and pies from OART Cafe and properly end this trip. Unfortunately, only three of us are going, but yay for us. As we are uh, driving back on the dirt road to the highway, um, let me let me just remind you: if you are in the market for uh, potentially a, a Jeep, um, especially a Gladiator, because Gladiator right now are like stupid discounted. Especially the 23 models are like you can get them for 10 to 15 thousand dollars off, which is crazy. Um, check out our sponsor, Bolton Chrysler Dodge Jeep, down in Port Arthur, Texas. Um, it, if we get when we get a new vehicle uh, when we get a new Jeep uh, that we will we will go to Bolton for sure um, they, they are in Port Arthur Texas but they ship vehicles all over the country so um, give them a shot give them a phone call tell them you saw them on the channel and uh, see what they'll do for you and if you need uh, any type of overlanding gear um, like the the planar diesel heater if you want a good quality one not a cheap Chinese diesel heater uh, check out overland attic uh, if you want to commemorate your trips and um, you know ha have a way to, to to make memories of those and you know put badges and stuff on your vehicle doesn't matter if you have a Jeep or not uh, check out all roads taken and if you want to do a, a trip similar to this but not near as rough um, with with a, a good guide and you know get that taste of, of what this overlanding experience is like especially in the Ozarks or at some other places too uh, check out um, go explore USA and if you need a quality winch uh, like uh, mine has has served me very well for the last two years um, and you don't want to you know, spend a lot of money check out open road four-wheel drive they uh, I, I've been real impressed with them that's why we continue to run them and of course more expos coming up uh, hope to see you there anyway um, we're going we're going to keep going now Matt's having to use a mallet and a screwdriver to try to find my valve stem got it and all this frozen mud finally found it got it <laughs> we have made it to the famous OART Cafe. Can't wait.
I was worried it might be close today, but it is not. Nathan, did you get a little ambitious with the double yeah. there? The double may have been a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I got the bacon. Check it out. What did you get, chicken sandwich? Chicken sandwich. Fried chicken? Fried right. chicken. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to have a slice of the fresh apple pie. Look at those. Oh, that peanut butter is real tempting. Well, sadly, it's time to head home. It's been such a fun weekend. It's been it awesome. Really has. Great. This is this is this may be my favorite yes. cold water yes. run ever. Definitely better than last year. <laughs> if <I saw> <laughs> yes. last year. If you didn't see it. last year's <laughs> cold water run video, it's called In Too Deep. Uh, that one was rough. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this adventure. And we're going to head home now. Give me the YouTube love, the like, subscribe, all that stuff. And check out the Patreon link if you want to consider supporting the channel and gaining access to special content and all of our GPS data, special events that we do. Uh, and for all of our merch, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.